Welcome to the open stage. Um, for those of you who were here last week, I kind of went off about positivity. A little bit. It needed doing. It needed doing. It's the holidays and everybody's groovy and cool now. But I kind of, I kind of had some things to say and I stand by them. But I said something I've been thinking about ever since, which was that we're in the bubble right now and that we get it and out there sometimes people don't. Now, let me tell the newcomers one thing. The open stage is dangerous because when you ask for something, it happens. <laughs> let me give you a list of some things that have happened because we thought they'd be a good idea. The house band. Stage left. Pretty good idea, pretty sane, calm idea. We like the house band. <laughs> Videography, good idea. Then there was stripping Shakespeare. Arguably, still a pretty good idea. Zombie acapella, also a pretty good idea. Let me see, Zentai Boylesque. Look it up, it's worth it. The point being, no matter how weird the request has been, gosh, it'd be nice if X happened, Y, Z, it did happen. Uh, and I said inside these hallowed halls, some people out there don't get it. And I got to have an experience where I found that that was fundamentally untrue in some cases. I got invited to perform at a private party last weekend. And I, I, I drove to the va a vast faraway land called Houston. And, and there, I, there I applied my, my strange little clowny trade and I found a delighted audience. I found a group of people Okay, normally when I do a gig, I'm going to level with you. I do a gig, and there's always someone in the corner who's that guy you wish hadn't been invited to the party, and it's my job to entertain him. <laughs> Great. Or there's that woman who thinks she's a little too perfect to be de dealing with the clown. Okay, truth be told, I enjoy taking the piss out of her. <laughs> not going to lie. But somehow these two people were not invited to this party. And I got to do this amazing evening, which was an entire night of getting to play, and at the end of the night, I walked out in my, my plain, normal clothes uh, after being insane all night, and I got a standing ovation in the middle of a party. And, I mean, all I could say, with, practically with tears in my eyes, was thank you for letting me go completely mad in your home. And I realized I was surrounded by people, and then the thing that made me realize the bubble idea has big holes in it, and we need to rethink it, this woman walked up to me, and she said, I know this may be improper of me, but you made me feel like a child. Can I hug you? Well, I mean, you guys are from here. You're used to that. So, of course, I'm just like, spring, bring it on. <laughs> that said, you have been positivity pilled. And I give a pretty good hug, and she came away with tears in her eyes. That's because I tased her when she wasn't looking. But the point was, somebody had this unbridled, amazingly positive moment, and they're not from around here. And I realized the combination of going out somewhere else and giving everything I had that I learned here, the stuff that we always talk about, about being positive to a group of people, and then getting it given back to me, charged, I am charged up, guys. I'm ready to go. If you ever get a chance, go out there and do something and find those positive people. And when you do find them, you better hug them. All right. So I'd like to dedicate tonight's show to the woman in red who hugged me so well at a party I had no business being at.